Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. It is time to start some more tasks, <laughs> a lot more tasks, but hey, you already know that I can't function otherwise. And it is also time to start using some coke or a silicon sealant if you prefer. And I generally use a crystal clear silicon sealant. Uh, with a coking on, of course, and I will use it in many ways during all this year uh, project or this new season project. One thing guys, this is an acetic based silicon. <laughs> it means that it smells so bad during the uh, curing time, during the drying time, because it simply releases acetic acid. And acetic acid is like adding constantly under your nose some vinegar. So by the end of this video, I will most probably be intoxicated and maybe I will talk strangely, but you already know and you are aware that I'm constantly talking strangely. So I will use it not only for my armor section in order to have some sort of water, but I will also use it inside my fountain. Please don't ask me right now uh, how and why. Hey, anyway, even if you ask it right now, this is not a live show and you won't be receiving any answer. And then I will also go with some more details on my twin stairs. I will go with the uh, balusters and uh, hand railing and guys, thank you to those who have commented the last video and, and let me figure out how uh, I needed to proceed, I, uh, how I wanted to proceed, very helpful. I will also go over with the second level concerning the ancient park and some more tasks if I can do it. Uh, many of the, those tasks uh, will take some longer drying time, some long curing time. So I will go and do multiple tasks at one time. And I think it's all guys for this intro. Yes, so let's get serious and I start I will start with the fountain. I need to do something more on the base of the fountain. So I will as always change of location right now. The fountain. I will start with my fountain, with my future fountain, sorry, and I will do multiple tasks on it. Uh, during my last video, I told you that uh, the border here is too large, it's too wide here. I simply need to have a, um, a small uh, border. A very very uh, narrow border so I need to cut it to trim it a little bit how to do it I don't want to do a mess so what I did I printed out the perimeter here and I will use this as a mask in order to cut uh, the good um, the good the perimeter, the uh, perfect or almost perfect perimeter around my original border. So first thing to do, and I hope you are seeing it correctly, let me check, yes, good, sorry I hadn't checked before starting the video. Let me just use this mask here, I will go with cutting the interior inside than the outside, okay? So maybe, uh, let's just add some music. Let's go. Honey, honey, I got what you want. Give me all your love, cause it's burning hot. It's what you do to me, babe, I can guarantee Honey, honey, I got what you need Right under the night sky I want your eyes 
size especially in the back because this will be hided under the twin stair I need to be as rounded and precise as possible in the front but hey this is ancient technology it's not a laser cutted fountain for the uh, Victorian era it was hey, made by hand and made so so it doesn't need to be Precise, precise, precise. Now, is it done? No, guys. Imagine having uh, this uh, fountain here, this will to be fountain filled with water. Do you like having <laughs> a black fountain? No, I don't like. Normally, fountain are gray inside, are blue inside, are uh, some uh, patchwork done inside the old fountains or some mosaic for example yes some mosaic mosaic in the uh, in the fountain but I can't leave it like that black no so I will do something very very strange for now maybe you have seen some other people doing it this is not my invention at all or I don't think at least so I will go with some glue white glue PVC glue my brush uh, a plastic uh, uh, plate here yes and it's the one I have used last time I don't waste plastic as you can see and I will start using some toilet paper white toilet paper why I will glue it in the fountain, inside the fountain. Then I will also use a mix of water and PVC glue and white glue in order to get some movement on the paper and simulate a rough surface in, um, inside the fountain. Then when it will be dry, I will paint it, some gray, some green, I don't know yet and then and then something more i will no i will not tell you right now so let's go with some glue and some white and some uh, toilet paper but uh, this way I will surely be able to show you some more decent work once it is dried because uh, once dried and painted all this uh, toilet paper uh, will add some texture to the fountain and uh, to the inside of the fountain for the outside 
I am not there yet, but I think this is enough for now, okay? And it will be not, okay, just one more here to the border, right there. Not difficult, uh, you don't need to care if you make some mistakes because it will be painted over and this will actually add some texture to the fountain, okay? So I will need to let it dry, luckily it is July and it will surely dry in a very short time, okay? So I'm going right there and see you in just some seconds for next part and something uh, different okay see you very soon let me just clean everything here another task guys so i duplicated here uh, some uh, sort of uh, twin stairs this is not the original and this is where i worked for some days trying to figure out how to do the balusters the vertical balusters and then the end ray uh, I could have used my canal fences and I will put some images right there in some way and then paint them. Uh, no, sorry, uh, let's have the canal fence picture first. Okay, now I could have certainly used them to do the uh, baluster and the end railing. Not quite. Uh, ideal, not quite good enough for an ancient uh, stair, an ancient twin stair. Um, maybe I will also put, I don't know, I don't know, maybe some images of what I wa wanted to achieve. They were very defined, very geometrical, the, all the balusters, not simply, uh, I don't know, a tube, a vertical tube or um, a squared baluster there, then uh, simply a railing. Not, not that way. I didn't want it that way. I wanted something mm, irregular but geometrical also. So I tried with some uh, wires, with some uh, very thick wire for the baluster, and also uh, some more thick wired for the entry, I wasn't satisfied and some of you suggested that yes I tried that also but I wasn't satisfied the profile was too industri industrial design too modern I wanted something different uh, <laughs> this would have been the occasion to buy a 3D printer and I will have gone uh, when I will, I will have went with the 3D printing um, stair, uh, and baluster and end ray. I didn't want that. <laughs> I haven't a 3D printer. Maybe in the future I will add a 3D printer. I am thinking about it for, uh, for about a, a long time now. But hey, I have a, I'm not a 3D printer and a 3D printer is not for everyone uh, I wanted something more uh, easy to achieve and easily found on uh, line or maybe you have some of the materials I will show you right now uh, already on ends but um, here what I thought I'm crazy I know but let me introduce you some Things. One and two. What are those? Those are simply some uh, corkwood bore pins, okay? Colored plastic, and those are um, plain uh, wood. Uh, wood. Uh, plastics, multicolored plastic, uh, corkwood uh, board pins and then some, um, some uh, wood pins, okay? Easily found everywhere. But, and I tried simply putting them like this, like that, 
okay then mm, it should it be good no it's not very very elegant it's too short and for the other side too i went trying those one there okay something more um more uh realistic that uh, that some simple tube or some uh, metal wires steel wires or something else but not there yet i wanted something more and i tried different solution then one night i came up with those other solution there I've superposed two cork wood board pins, two pins, let's, uh, let's name them pins, okay? And I tried this solution here, all right? One and two. Much higher, much more geometrics, uh, much more realistic those pins were <laughs> i will uh, always thought that the ups ups uh, pins would be a pain to cut or everything else but hey i went with this solution with some uh, um, uh, with some uh, cyanoacrylic glue with some super glue and two pins will be connected then but they are too thin so I tried with the wood pins okay let's try one and two okay practically almost the same height and you can see it but in this case it's more not so thin but very thicker and yes i thought why not why not it is very similar to what i needed what i wanted to go with uh, i will not use them like that one beside the other because this will be the correct solution uh, with no space at all between two of them okay like this uh, or like that okay I'm experimenting with you right now okay this will be good yes this will be good but I will not add enough space between them okay I will place it then a little further okay but I will not have enough space, enough free uh, view uh, to them because I want to let you see what I have from this side or from this other side if I'm talking about the right side because I will have some statues there. So I will need to let you see through. Okay, this is too much. I think for space but a hey. and for the this is good for me for the uh, balusa and for the end railing I could have gone this way but look a hey, I want I don't want anything to be visible so I tried some solution I tried with my you can see that here I am not satisfied with this solution but I've carved the uh, the small uh, piece of uh, uh, styrofoam here. I have square carved it, and I decided to go this way, guys. Okay. If you carve the right dimension, and I just I'm just I want just to remember you that this is a pure test. Okay. The top of the pins will disappear. And of course I need to glue it there and this will be the result okay the end railing and the baluster vertical baluster and, and then yes they need to be painted white or gray but I think this could be a good solution 
and also there when you go right there uh, you will have another baluster there uh, okay another end railing there uh, let's see the effect when you have two of them aligned there okay two for each you won't have the same effect because the inclination is not the same it will be good for the horizontal way of doing it let me do that now right there maybe okay right there okay having them so near one to the other it can be a good solution for this part here the horizontal parts but not the vertical parts with two of them there you need to cut some of them because the angle right here is different than the angle right there so it won't fit i need to do some compromise guys so having them just one here and one there it allows me to go with the same angles there and to hide the top of the uh, of the vertical of the pins and not have to uh, cut them and file them okay uh, this can be a good solution now let me just show you what it is when you do this okay and and this okay very roughly done but you can appreciate that if you cut the correct angle you can have some more railings very well very easily done there uh, this has been made very quickly so this is my intention i need to prepare some of them because this is done with some uh, super glue some channel acrylic glue uh, and it will dry and it will cure almost in one minute but i can't use uh, um, super glue with wood because wood is porous and the glue tend to penetrate inside the porous of the wood so the two parts the two pins want the glue together i will need to use some of my um, wood glue my uh, white pvc glue and it has a uh, longer uh, cure time a longer drying time so uh, let me do oh how i am doing the overlapping of two pins simply i will take one pin there then i will think another pin and i will remove because i don't want them because they will go through and I don't want them to go there and I will simply remove the metallic pin and I will overlap them like that before having done some glue so I will most probably use this and I will go this way then some glue then overlapping checking if it is good and then to the next one so i will prepare uh, a, <laughs> a big amount of them uh, like this way then I will let them dry for uh, some uh, minutes this is my solution for this year I don't like them those are too thin those thicker very good for me I don't know for you but uh, hey, this is my solution for this year uh, baluster and railing there so let me just do some more of those balusters, vertical balusters. Some music, please. If I can't be with you, I'd rather be by myself.
the pins for these two balusters there because they will go in the first uh, on the first step and the first step is only nine millimeter uh, thick but the pin is uh, 10 millimeters uh, long so it will go that way and I don't want it to go um, through it so I cut for the two uh, first steps, one for the right and one for the left side. Uh, I still have some spare uh, pins there. Uh, let's just hope that uh, I've, make, I've made enough of them. Some sticky glue, some um, sticky fingers like right now. These need to dry. So uh, let's go with the next uh, task. I'm back with a surprise, guys. Maybe you remember my uh, wood bridge I've used uh, last uh, season for my train. And don't worry, this will, sh will not be my arbor for this uh, new season project. But I needed it uh, for testing purpose. Then my chalutier, my fishing boat or uh, sailing boat, if you prefer, that I built some weeks ago. And of course, my golden eagle. By the way, just I want just I just want to remember you that this is from 2005, almost 20 years ago. Very rare item nowadays, and I've talked about it uh, in some other videos, some past videos. I've just repainted it and repaired it in some ways because uh, they delivered me uh, very damaged. Uh, I need to figure out this section here. I want some water, of course, and I will not go with real water, but with the cork or silicone sealant, if you prefer, because it will be too dangerous to have real water in this section, um, too uh, wide surface there. Then I will go surely with some uh, sand beach and uh, some other things, some people uh, all along the pier section, the wharf section, the upper section, call it whatever you want, and some uh, buildings and something else in the uh, background. So I just need to <clears throat> decide where I want the water to finish and where I want the beach and everything else to start. Uh, then many figurines, many old figurines I found online. It will be a surprise uh, and uh, something more. So maybe I was thinking I will go there. Let me just trace some line here and maybe I will go right there. Okay. Uh, I think this will be enough for having all I want to have there. So this will be the limit of the water from the right side and the water, I think. Then on the left side, the uh, everything else. Okay. Maybe not so good enough. Uh, maybe you are right. This is, was a first test. So 
let me bring another color because I will need another color. Uh, not this one. I thought I had some red one. Yes. Okay. Maybe it is not good enough too more too much water. So I think I will go. Will it be enough to have the arbor there? My boats there, okay. And then this one here with an arbor, yes, much better. So I just need it to be there, something. Okay, and then here yeah, some real life, then some be high building there because in the back because I will not have a background so I will go with some buildings okay yes I will go with the red line here so everything is from this side will be a water okay water from this side and this side will be a ground simply ground the beaches and uh, uh, a sand beach and uh, um, arbor life etc i will surely need some way to climb to the next level but i will go with this way i will be using um, the caulk i will be using the silicon sealant so very dangerous for my eyes not very dangerous but very uncomfortable for my eyes with all the uh, acetic acid that will release so i will uh, take this section with me and I will work on it uh, in my uh, other location okay <laughs> on the table okay so I will go with this uh, task right now while everything else is trying while the glue and the fountain is drying is um, curing okay see you in just some seconds I made some last second modification guys here I have my marking for my golden eagle position where I want it to be in the final position and here my uh, sailing boat, my fishing boat arriving right there uh, towards the uh, sailing towards the, um, the arbor, the, the wharf there. And then here I marked where I want the uh, water to finish somehow because here I will have some building right there. So. And that's how I want it, and so the red one here. I will proceed step by step. Uh, first thing first, I will just place some some paper tape here, some masking tape if you want here in order to get it more stable and attach it one together okay all right more stable then I will proceed with the the toilet paper as previously I will place some glue and
let everything dry for some minutes then I will add some more layers because with some more layers of paper it will add even more texture to the to the sea to the lake whatever you want uh, it will add more texture okay and I want some texture there I don't want some flat surface here just remember that uh, once everything is done is dried I will also add uh, a layer of uh, caulking of uh, uh, silicon sealant so it will be way more accentuated okay so i will let it dry for some minutes it's all in the past now some texture to the uh, sea, to the lake, to the river, whatever. Then I've added uh, more wave effect all along the coast here, <laughs> where the uh, water finish and where the arbor uh, begin here, because I want to have some wavy effects here and there. Just me, let me just finish here a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, I added the, oh, this way. I added a, a texture to the sea, to the water. Once it has been uh, painted, I think uh, uh, I will use some blue, some uh, uh, light blue, some green to differentiate every level and deepness of the water. Then I will go with the final step of adding the coke, of adding the, um, the silicone sealant there, okay? Good, and I need it to dry for a very long time, so uh, for now, let's the, do a pose with the arbor and let's uh, come back to the uh, stairs, guys. So I need this to dry for some long hours. The stairs. I brought here the right section of my tree stair because I want to go there with my um, 
baluster and uh, hand raise. Uh, I think, uh, okay, this will be the first one. Everything is dried, is cured, okay? Every single one is now cured, okay? And resistant. So, I will need to start from this point here. Uh, the diameter here, the diameter is uh, uh, nine millimeters, let's say one centimeters, okay? So I will need to go uh, five millimeters in, in that, in order to get it on the right side. Then this is two, two centimeters, 20 millimeters, so I will go in this way, I will mark it in the middle. One centimeter there. This is two centimeters, so I will go with one centimeter. And then here I will go with one centimeter. Then I will go five millimeters. Then I will go five millimeters. Uh, oops there. I will go five millimeters here. I will go five millimeters here. And I will go five millimeters here. Okay. There. The point where I want the pins to be. But I also want them firmly in place. So I will use some glue. Let me have the glue. Okay, some glue, I will apply glue there, before adding the pins and not on the pins themselves. Right, the first one need to be this one, the shorter one. And I will go there. Then I will take some standard ones. This one is not perfectly aligned, so I will go there. Okay, and the third one here. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen more. I will need seventeen more to complete the uh, left side. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I need three more of them. One, two. These were those were the test. So one more.
file here. I'm, I've done, I'm done with it. I still need to add, to add here something. Not, not the time right now, but hey, the baluster is done. I need to do the railings. Let's do the railings starting from the right side because it has time to uh, drive. This is a left side, this is center, and this is right side. I will show you once how I uh, will proceed for every end railing. I've set it here 1.8 uh, uh, centimeters, 18 uh, millimeters, and okay, then I will go there with 1.8 uh, centimeters, and I will do everything like that. So let's go with 1.8 centimeters. Okay, now uh, I need uh, to have the center, I need to have the center uh, placed at the four millimeters from each side because if this is 1.8 centimeters and the diameter of the pins is uh, one uh, centimeters, 10 millimeters, then I will need to, tra to go with four millimeters from each side. Four millimeter there, and then four millimeters there. I need a piece of uh, seven point four centimeters. Let's say I will go with seven point five centimeters. Okay. 7.5 centimeters then I will work on it now I will go with some more 4 millimeters from each side for here and four there. Now I'm going this way and I'm going this way and I will try to carve it, okay? It is not a very precise work, but hey, I will need to carve into it. Okay. Okay, then I will use this as a first uh, rail part. Obviously, I need to cut some 45 degrees here with the cutter because I 
um, I need it to be at 45 degrees in order to get there in place. So here is where uh, what I will do with all the end railing, okay? I won't glue anything here because I need to move this section and install the fountain and uh, so I will not finish it but I will show you the result the result sorry uh, once I've completed everything I just need to uh, let it dry for some more minutes so I need to change the battery and then I will go ahead, ahead with uh, uh, something more. Uh, I still need uh, uh, to do a lot of things before closing, okay? So see you in just a few seconds. Okay, guys, now the fountain is dry, has dried. Okay, let's remove some of the paper around. I think that I will go with some blue inside and some dirty blue, some okay, and then some gray outside. Okay, <clears throat> let's start with some painting.
guys I think the bottom of the fountain is done I also painted a little bit around the border here because I don't want any black to be visible once I've added a wall a little wall out from the outside I've used some white brush here in order to uh, get some icy water uh, around the border and the paper that I added uh, as, the, as gave uh, some pattern, some texture to the, um, to the material there. Also on the bottom you can see that you have some texture and also on the walls. So I will wait for some minutes to dry, then I will add the sealant. Here I am, uh, the fountain is dry. The problem, if I will pour water in this fountain, <laughs> the each color will mix together and I will simply get a mess all around because those are acrylic colors that will be removed by uh, water. So I need a sealant, I need something to uh, seal the colors there. So I will use the, um, the silicon based sealant, the caulk and the silicon uh, sealant, yes. And here I have some water mixed with some dish soap, dish detergent, why? Simply because this material is extremely stick. So I, I will get plenty of uh, um, silicone everywhere and I can't uh, uh, have a regular amount on the bottom here. So uh, I will go with some Okay, and we'll go from there and we get down to the beat, y'all. We get down, down to the beat, y'all. We get down to the beat, y'all. It's like we're not going anywhere. Maybe it's because there's something in the It will add even more texture to the fountain, to the bottom of the fountain and to the walls. Now it's a little messy because it hasn't yet started to cure, to become very, very, very transparent. So a crystal clear transparent. So I will let it dry. Then I will have an update. Okay, see you. It's also time guys to to paint uh, a little bit the, the sea, the lake, the, the water, okay? The paper has dried, not so much, but it's almost all dried, okay? So I will go with some painting, okay? Just stay
to do the silicone sealant uh, but I need to wait so it will be for next time guys it's very late so I will stop here for now and I will do my usual recap my usual uh, outro in just some minutes it will be a long outro I think trying to explain everything okay. it's time for a quick update before my outro here is what it looks right now, my arbor section. Everything still needed to dry a little more. You can see that the water, I have added the water, the sea water, waves, some more waves uh, in proximity of the uh, beach, of the sand beach and everything else. Okay, so this I think will be... Uh, more defined next time when I will use some of the coking. Uh, as concerning the rest I've done today, let's go and take a look to the uh, to the fountain here. Oh, guys, it still smells so badly, and the the silicone hasn't uh, uh, cured uh, totally, so it still need to. To dry more but uh, having sealed the, the bottom of the fountain in order to prevent the colors to be washed out by the water um, I also add some more texture to the uh, bottom and uh, walls or and the, and the inside walls of the uh, fountain these will be these will tend to be more and more crystal clear it still need some uh, some time to do it because I've added a very thick uh, amount of uh, uh, silicon. Um, <laughs> it's uh, three or four layers, I think, and so uh, it still needed to uh, to dry to uh, cure. So for maybe I think two more days, okay. But hey, uh, now it is absolutely waterproof, water resistant, everything, and no more, um, no more risk to uh, to have the uh, colors washed out. The twins there, there, there. Here it is the result, guys. From each side, I've added the. Um, vertical baluster and the uh, end rails still need to fix those two points here and everything needs to be glued together because I will need to slide the fountain under this section here so it will take me some more time but I've placed my nun there and I don't know if you can see it so let me just go this way you can see that even through the baluster, everything is visible. Not sure if I had the same result using the uh, more uh, everything else or even the the other kind of pins, the the color at once. Okay, uh, but here we go. Even the nun placed there. I will always use. It. You can see through the balusters and you can appreciate that it is visible. The nun is visible. She is visible from every angle still need to do some paintings still need to do a lot more of work but i think this is the longest video of the this season third part third video already uh, regaining my uh, old uh, uh, long records okay so i i hope this uh, will uh, improve some more next time I've had uh, enough time to do the second level of the park here. Painting everything and uh, waiting for everything to dry, painting the, uh, waiting for the paper to dry, waiting for the uh, color to dry, waiting for the silicone to dry and waiting for everything else here in 
the uh, in the harbor section to dry has <laughs> has been so long so uh, i wasted some time sorry and uh, to be honest uh, i had a very busy week at work so uh, i had a little time to do everything i've shown you today um okay let me go for the outro thank you guys a long day it is already dark outside and another long video for you guys it's simply part three of the new series but i'm already crushing all my previous uh, uh, video length records epia guys and uh, i've uh, oh the water the water is still wet my finger has blue on it, but I wanted to put there my boats anyway to let you have a preview of what will be when it will be completed. Uh, still need to wait for the color to, uh, to dry because now it is too much matte. Then I will add the cork, I will add the silicone sealant in order to have a more glowish effect, a more transparent effect and also the silicone sealant will add some more texture to the surface of the water. I think two, maybe three parts and the main structures of the wharf will be completed. Uh, a very long part will be dedicated to the uh, wood uh, wharf, to the wood arbor. The fountain, almost done, yes, I've already told you many times, but uh, the uh, silicon sealant uh, will be cured by tomorrow, I think, or the day after tomorrow. Then I will simply need to dig uh, the hole for the fountain and the place uh, inside the uh, water, the water pump and the base for my Poseidon or Natchez, if you prefer. Still need to think on a way to have the water coming out from the base of the statue, but I'm working on it one thing at a time. The, uh, the balusters and the end rails. Uh, I think I've found uh, not a perfect solution, a good solution, a good compromise between what I wanted and what reality in, would have imposed me to do. Maybe you figure out uh, uh, the method I will use to do the end draining, also maybe also for the uh, vertical balusters. But hey, mm, don't judge me. I'm human. At least I think I'm still human, and this is the way I want to go this year because it will let me show you everything through the balusters and have a decent aspect once everything will be painted and I still need to add some walls because now it's not very pretty to see uh, so guys as always please don't forget to subscribe comment and give thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish see you next time